Hello there everyone and welcome back. I missed out on doing a video over the weekend since it's been pretty hectic over here but nonetheless I do have a poll currently going underway for what faction I should focus on for the rank season and while technically it will be about three or so weeks that have gone by so who knows when it might get reset but I'm still going to make the attempt at least for three weeks to focus on your Imperial Navy, Space Marines, Orcs, Tyranids, and even a Tau Merchant Fleet there. Maybe play with a little bit of auxiliary type of, at least auxiliary centric type of fleets, or at least avoid the cruiser heavy type of fleets we sometimes see with the Tau factions. Have a little bit of fun there and see how well we do when I'm able to focus on them for at least a good handful of matches. But for now, Let's play around with the good old uh, infestation, the boarding centric type of Tyranid fleet. And to be honest, I've been playing with this fleet, at least attempting to play with it, ever since the release of Armada 2. It had some, it had some successes, it had some failings, but nonetheless this can be pretty satisfying. Although sadly, with no hockey on these strangled tentacles, it is a bit annoying trying to st hit your mark there in a quick and con consecutive manner since I have a lot of Krakens to easily eat up the crew of at least light cruisers or frigates and now with the buff that marks the ship for 45 seconds once I connect they aren't really going to be going anywhere or not going to be hiding very well unless they can outrange me and since I don't have to worry about burning my scanner pulse to keep vision on them I have an easy way to kind of force a kill of the crew at least it may involve suicide in a couple of my ships but I have enough frigates to go around, and this has been a fun fleet for me nonetheless. It remains to be seen how practical it is though. But hey, it's at least an alternative to the pyro acid type of fleet that's been really predominant before the nerf there like a patch or two ago. So I don't think anyone minds. Alright, so we're going to be doing heavy amounts of boarding it looks like here. Although the big potential downside for my fleet is the fact that Disruption Overcharge can keep my shields down quite heavily. While that may not matter since I'm going to be ultimately trying to win through killing their crew as opposed to destroying their ships, it does hurt my durability quite a bit, especially with this flagship kind of being the ship that my opponent wants to go after too. And if they have a bunch of strike cruisers, then my boring torpedoes are going to be a little bit awkward trying to hit with. Unless I'm right in their face, and yes I am utilizing boring torpedoes too, so I felt that at least for the cruisers, these may be more better for boarding than actually having tentacle feeders on them. At least that's how I understand it. They won't mark, but what is it? They only do like two assault actions I think for the cruisers, so not terrible. It's just these are more fire than run off kind of setup, as opposed to committing for the full 12 seconds. Whereas the flagship at least does have Foy Lurker to evade the detection. And with that said, let's have these drones, which I'm going to use pretty much for grabbing objectives for me. And to kind of bait, or at least lure my opponent to a certain direction. While everything else can conveniently hide. Not as convenient as I like to make it sound, since there are only two objectives, at least in this one singular direction. These two are going to hang back. Cruisers are going to have a hard time trying to get their boring damage in, so I may be relying a lot on the Krakens here. And I don't even know if the Salt Rush thing is, or the Salt Rush bug is still in effect, because that could easily affect how I play this matchup if I truly understand stood how it works. But I'm going to play with the mindset that my opponent can hear the rushes at all times, just so I don't give away my position carelessly. The only exception is the drones, which they're kind of giving away their position anyway because they're going to be grabbing the points. And I did not hear a rush. While technically that means I could possibly abuse it, I don't want a chance it. So what is this, two battle barges and a strike cruiser maybe? Because you can see the speed difference here. And with that said, I kind of want to grab this one objective here. But I think they have a frigate still hidden somewhere. So let's not get too carried away. At least with battle barges, I can have a very convenient way to... I'm at least going to have a much easier time hand with these torpedoes. I just got to do enough of the boring damage to, at the very least, 
uh, force uh, call, call to arms. And we gotta keep in mind, these fighters are coming by too. So that confirms two battle barges the there. Area. Watch where they're going, the one objective here. And we'll take our time. If I can at least grab a handful of these objectives, that's kind of nice. I don't realistically expect to grab this one on the left now. Actually, I could rush. At least maybe it might have enough time, but they're frigates after all. They're not exactly the speediest. But for now, we'll wait till we can get a good positioning. That's kind of the key here. Since I don't know if they're torpedoes, which means they could do a lot of burst damage up front. Or if they're lance-centric, which we'll know as soon as maybe this frigate gets revealed. And all this while, we do need to watch for a frigate as well. I feel like there should be a frigate around, but you never can tell due to the cost of some of the cruisers. The last thing I want is to have the at least cruisers get revealed preemptively. I'm kind of okay with the frigate since they have the chameleonic skin to at least help. And you're not moving anywhere at all, which kind of is weird for me because... For a moment, I thought you were holding position. Alright. I'll just get that out of the way. Try and do some boring damage. And then just use Kimiak skin. For good measure. The enemy has seized a strategic area. So long as we have some objectives, it's not a big deal. They're just going to capture it so much for faster than me. And these things are slow as hell too, so... I would like to have this not get revealed, but... I'm asking the world this poor thing too. It may actually do it. Only the battle barges are boosting right now. And if I can at least start getting some boring damage on the flagship, that'd be great. No, I don't want that there. I wish there was a way to act, at least get rid of this, because I'm sure you can count the amount of times I've been constantly hitting that thing. Yeah. Have seized a strategic area. Get some boring damage in. And at least that will get them to react. Maybe it's not as much as I would like, but we have another drone to kind of help with that too. This is probably going to get revealed. That's fine. It has chameleonic skin, remember. So once they're outside detection range, then that's problems alleviate quite a bit. They just got to soak the fire quite well, though, for that to work. This might not survive, so we'll just bail out now. Get these guys moving. Apparently there's no frigate which I can be thankful for. That helps a ton in this regard. Although, looks like both of them just died. And we're about to lose this. We should lose this point momentarily, but boring damage? That is good boring damage. I'm happy with that. Because that is what, three for each of them? Or six total if they can get the full charge in. This is where it gets a little precarious. Because again, I may be abusing Silent Rushes right here, just doing that maneuver right now. And the flagship without doubt needs to stay alive. I don't know if that even gave, me, gave an audio cue to my opponent, so that's a scary thing here. But that's a good chunk of damage. The enemy and has seized a let's see, we never area. even checked what kind of ships they are. So they are torpedo-centric ones. Yep, this is now getting a little bit too crowded to my liking. Especially since I forgot to hold fire. Alright, can we continue boring the flagship? Because these Krakens could take a punch.
Just gotta be careful of the flagship getting punked as well. Alright, you three can get in there, start turning around. Bombers I'm kind of okay with. The boring damage is kind of what it needs to be right now. So maybe these three can start grabbing the flagship is limping. Although, damn it, these guys are a little too cramped to my liking. And that would be amazing if these boring torpedoes connect. I doubt it'll happen, but that would be really nice if it did. Engines are gone here, now to go for the killing blow. Yes, that's promising connection. Although, Disruption Bombs, Thesis Bombs, not all that terrifying here. Although, dang it, my move order is kind of threatening to have these things hit each other. Now, let's board the... I don't even need to board this thing. I think the crew is just pretty much dead right now. Just bail out and run. Don't let these things take any more damage than necessary, I guess, is the name of the game. So... This is looking like a potentially brutal defeat for my opponent, but keep in mind, this flagship could... If it dies, I'm still in a world of trouble. So let's not get too complacent just yet. And Strangle Tentacle. And I'm okay with the boring. I can regenerate my crew. That's one of the unique things that Tyrannus have. Instead of a cold arms, they can immediately regenerate their crew. So I'm not too worried there, and we have a Drifting Hulk. Perfect. I just gotta watch the crew complement. That's the big thing. And it's gonna take a while until this one ship uh, gets bored to all hell. But we get to easily neutralize this point. Yeah, I think they're pretty much dead. Fire the torpedoes to complement or compound on this. Um, I'll try and hide this, and that's all she wrote. Pretty straightforward. May not be the most exciting fleet, but it goes to show how the call to arms can be really important. Since this is still going to be fighting for a while, and they can't actually transfer the crew over to these other ships with the call to arms currently active too, so that is a little bit of an issue. Now we just got to wait this out as the main thing. It's, we're going to be waiting a while, hell. Let's just grab some points while we're at it. We have that convenience and luxury now. I feel bad for them, because that doesn't feel pleasant, I would imagine. It works out amazingly with the frigates, but my opponent did not have frigates of their own, and that's kind of what I'm most terrified of. Okay, this is going to be interesting. Since, like I hinted at before with the Space Ring match, which I will point out, the game crashed on me if you're wondering wh what happened to that abrupt ending there. But, they can regenerate their crew really damn well, and if they have uh, pyre assets, I could be in a lot of trouble there. Since my Krakens are really vulnerable to the burning, especially excessive amounts of them. Sure, they can handle one and two fires really damn well because of their regeneration, but... They're going to melt quickly, so I need to figure out how to spot these things. Which I am probably going to have to... Yeah, since Spore feels kind of g allows them to conceal themselves, never mind the fact that it does no damage, let alone slows them, I may attempt to reveal my flagship briefly. I'm just going to have to put it in the more most ex obscure spot, so that way they're left guessing where it might go. Now with that said... Let's get our fleet sorted out, because with these drones, they can be a bit of an annoyance sometimes. Thankfully, the drones do have shields to make that a little bit easier. And then, honestly, I think three Krakens, if they can get their full boarding charge in, is able to kill one of their frigates. Worst case situation. I just gotta somehow be able to pull it off. 
And then these guys are going to hang back. We're going to be doing very much a lot of hit and run maneuvers. Do I even consider the lightning strike? It's a little bit safer for me. I don't know if I like it in all seriousness, but... It might work. And we do have loud rushes this time, so... Plan... Just pop a beacon, give away where my position is vaguely, at least the, the flagship, and then we'll somehow try to use that to our advantage. But the majority of my fleet's going to have to hang back. There's not much I can do about it. Since if they are pyre assets, then they're just going to beat me in a stray up fight. Hell, I'm pretty much the heavy underdog here, I would argue. My flagship at least can decently run off, but the amount of time it would take for the boring damage to kick in is where the issue lies mostly. Since again, let's see, that's not it. Yes, yeah, spine sacks can fully regenerate the crew back to max. You need to time it at the proper window to get full value, but that complicates it a lot. Forces them not be able to use their uh, double rushes. That's the only benefit there though. But still a factor nonetheless. And that was a quick capture there. And there's not really much to hide themselves here just yet. So I could take advantage of that some. That doesn't mean the entire fleet's there. I'm more watching if someone grabs this objective or not. Because the more I throw these beacons, the more I kind of give away my position. And there was a scanner pulse. Nothing was detected though. Not much else to really say. This is damn tense moment. Since they could jump at me at a moment's notice. With, well, I can kind of hope maybe they're not doing loud rushes. I wasn't paying attention for them moving. That could be a liability you too. A strategic area. If my opponent knows what they're doing, but... We got two pyro assets here, and thankfully it's not the traditional type of pyro asset fleet either. Okay, we hear the rushing. So these three Krakens can kill off the crew of this. I just gotta make it stick. Let's see, can I get another one? Another set. I think that's all of it, maybe. You have seen and I conveniently get this beacon too. Okay, so there's one Kraken gone, although they did try and rush me. The enemy has seized a strategic area. Now let's get the hell out of here before these pyro assets murder me some. Oh, I scanner pulse with two of them, so that's unfortunate. Not as terrible as I make it sound, but still, a little bit awkward. Now, let's see if I can get these out of the way in time. The enemy has seized a strategic nope, area. that's not going to get to jump in time. It didn't really dodge much to the torpedoes either as a bonus, so... But I am getting bored in. Well, not as much boring as it could have been, I suppose, but... Somehow, we get... Somehow there's some damage. Don't ask me how that happened, but... Can we at least continue to kill off the crew? Because that's one sort of this Kraken gone. I would love to kill the second Kraken here. Oh, 
Unfortunately, my strangled tentacles did expire in a day. Although my opponent's just kid, just committing suicide. It looks like here. All right, hold. I apologize for the low commentary. I hope you can forgive me, because I, again, I feel like a big underdog, so I need to do this properly. I need cooldowns to come back up. Oh, even, they do have a hive ship too, so. Let's see. And the boring's going to kill off that one ship eventually, so there is that. Can I continue to book? Oh, they're doing the same thing I was doing. Getting the lightning strikes in. Now, 20 seconds till I can board and maybe kill off those ships. And I don't think I launched any fighters, or at least the fighters were shot down. So, one cruiser gone. I don't want to gain boarded, thankfully due to the fighters still being alive. So, that's a big success there. Yeah, my opponent's lost a little bit of control here. Conveniently, there's enough boring damage to be had here. Now let's get the hell out. Since they can't use the gas cloud, thankfully. I, have, however, am hitting. I just gotta stop burning retros. And I am giving away my position, too. We're going to have to be quick here, because they are pursuing me aggressively here. And I'm going to have to replenish the crew in a moment, but I think that might be enough boarding damage to kill off the this one ship. And we got to keep in mind, I can recharge the uses of my Foy Lurker. So I cannot underestimate the potential I could have if this drags out. Now, that should kill off the crew there. You have accumulated 25% of strategic points. Charge up there. That'll kill that crew easily enough. Now, hide everything. Get ready for the next phase of this. Which involves my Krakens if I can remember to use them properly. Come on. I know you're a big hulking uh, hive ship, but I need you to move. That actually might survive. It's hard to say if my opponent used the rushes or all that, but... Ooh, that's scary. That's a good thing for me, all things considered. Now, I want... To launch the fighters and start boarding. I hope the fighters are able to do enough, though. Yep, that ship's gone. Everything's concealed, though, due to convenient. Since even the cruisers dropped those spore fields, but only if the crew is killed off. And I. Ah, dang it. They're completely hit then. So sadly, wasn't able to get what I want there, but at least the crew can get recalled. I just gotta not let these things die carelessly. Alright, now we have an opportunity here since my opponent is kind of forfeiting, letting, trying to kill these Krakens. So that's gonna kill off a nice chunk of the crew there. I just need to get the last one in. Oh, and sadly, my flagship's also spotted. But that should be good. Uh, I don't. I hate to break it to you. Those fighters are not going to help you. These strangled tentacles work differently in that regard. I think I'll launch two fighter squadrons since it's likely this thing is just going to run from me. So my fighters could die beforehand. And I'm also tempted to just ram these two, but their shields will eventually just kill off the Kraken's health. And now I gotta start recharging. 
It's gonna start killing off portions of my crew. Yeah, I lost a third right there preemptively as a result, the but has seized a strategic area. that's where I'm gonna be doing. Yeah, I might lose duty objective too, but that could die to the drone. So drone's gonna get to have a say in this manner. Actually, let me just get this flagship to do something useful. Since it doesn't quite have the mobility it chase these the best. Especially if my opponent's gonna just run from me. Now the big question, can this drone survive 12 seconds of this entanglement? That's all I ask of it. That's one, another six seconds. Okay, I think that did it. Now get the hell out and try and survive. There. Not really much else to say. My opponents conceded to maybe losing ch the fight chasing after me. And they do have a substantial point lead still, so... I can't get complacent, but my fighters are getting killed off. So I got him. I'm gonna have to kill off the crew the old-fashioned way. And it's gonna be tricky due to this angle. You have seized a strategic Damn it! That really stinks. I figured that would grab the objective. Area. All right, get yourself hit in. Kill off a portion of the crew. And you just stay there and correct the wrongs of these first two cruisers, please. And now the drone's going to make its appearance known. You have seized a strategic area. I kind of want to engage them, truth be told, but it works better if I can grab these objectives and points. And with these guys burning their... Uh, Strangle tentacles, I think I can get away with not doing that for now. You. Oh, you had the boost jump at the right time there. Thankfully, I only burnt a single torpedo. Now, can we continue to board this? They are currently boring me, though. Oh, am I in my way? Yeah, I'm in my own way there. Thankfully, it's not as terrible as it looks, but it's less value. But that last torpedo salvo did make the difference. But my opponent's kind of relegating to committing to this long, drawn-out fight, so I need to get more kills. And I think I have a window to do it now. I am losing a lot of crew, though. I, I just killed off two-thirds of my crew there with the amount of charges we just accumulated. The enemy is seizing one of your strategic areas. Can we kill off the flagship? That would be nice right now. It might jump in a moment's notice. But 17 boring, I will take it. Although, that is not the movement arc I want, damn it. You have seized a strategic area. Alright, let's just disengage then. Try to, anyway. Since I put myself in a bit of a mess right now. Although, there's enough boring damage to kill the hive ship now. I just now gotta minimize the damage on me as a result. So, I think we're okay, we just gotta grab the third point now. And the flagship can easily grab this one. Oh, you just regenerate the crew, never mind that. Never mind that fact. It's gonna take a little bit longer than I would like. But we do have to start work on this one now, the cruiser itself. Since I'm confident the flagship at least should die. And actually, that will give him substantial morale penalty, too. 
definitely a drawn out type of match. It's and it's ah, there goes one of my cruisers too. I am gonna neutralize this one point quickly. Now the flagship is still at risk of dying quickly. Now, can we make this work? Not with any, not with fighter charges or lack of fighter charges. I can board that and get started at least on it. Yep, that's about to die. So you're not going to have your increased speed and actually I could just dive in here. Just need to neutralize this point which will be really damn close. That's all I have to say on that matter. So let's at least deny I'm capturing the point. I need to win via killing their crew right now. And I have, yeah, with their lack of synaptic relay, I can easily negate this. Actually, I should lightning strike since right now they are taking whole damage. Yeah, I'm actually gonna win this through my shield health, in all honesty, and the boarding damage on top of that. A bit of a weird match. A drawn out match at that, good god. I'm just shocked. Well, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I hinted at how I was a bit of the underdog, since I was. I need to rely on the slow. M methodical process of killing off the crew. Sure, they were a less experienced opponent, but in theory, they should be able to just fly at me, and they should win that matchup, especially with a hive ship there. Since you see how long it took to actually kill off the crew of that cursed thing, they would have won through all the pyre acid damage if they had committed to chasing after me. I would think, anyway. Okay, chaos. We're gonna have. Well, I recognize the player, I just can't remember the fleet composition. I think it was all Grand Cruisers? Lance Base, maybe? Or was it Akron's? I also can't remember, but I have to take the frigates seriously, especially if they have multiples of them. Since I am likely to have a handful of these ships uh, get de destroyed really quickly by concentrate fire from the Lances, but the Chaos crew should die at a good rate if I can connect with them. That's going to be the tricky part. Can I connect with them? It's going, going to be amazing. Actually, I have my control groups wrong. My boring torpedoes are grouped too. There we go. There's too many ships. What can I say? Although, I misgrouped it again, didn't I? There we go. You're group 3. You're part of group 1. There we go. Problem solved. Now, where do I want to put the drones? It's pretty self-explanatory, isn't it? Since there's only really two good points for them to go to. Cruisers will hang back for a bit. They might go the most direct route. Flagship will try to flank since it has more to open space. And then Krakens, well, we'll see how lucky the Krakens get with the boring damage. They can get on the flanks, they can get behind them decently. It's just a question... Well, let's see, my opponents will likely grab these two points and move through, so I could maybe intercept them with the Krakens near the asteroid belt. I just don't want these rocks. Or I don't need a scanner pulse is what I'm trying to say. I almost, almost forgot to change that. And accelerate regeneration doesn't really help my Krakens all that much either. So I really do question having it as an upgrade, but the shield recharge is not all that helpful considering... We, well, actually, it might actually be useful here since they don't have disruption overcharge. So scanner pulse is going towards the middle beacon, it is looking like. And you don't have a mission dissipator, but you do have siren cannons, so you're just gonna try and turn off my shields immediately with the, with the ability, are you? If I had to guess. Speaking of which, what kind of... Alright, battleship. So you got the new one, they're Hectate and... So what are we look... The enemy has they didn't boost yet, so we're left wondering what these ships are. But, like I said... Hmm. 
Do I abuse the... Well, I don't even know if my opponent can hear the rushes. It's amazing. I heard them sound, but that don't mean much. Now. Where is this beacon? This beacon should stop right here about. I'm waiting for it. Actually, I could have it latch on to the drone too. That would be kind of nice. I don't think this will survive long enough though. But we can start moving in. I'm going to have to circle around though. Is the only thing. Krakens are safe. Scanner pulse, okay. Then... They are... Okay, the des Desolator is shooting at me, so we're gonna have to be ready to jump on out. So sadly, I'm not gonna be able to retain this. I do have shields, technically. Can Actually, this can survive, like, two bomber squadrons. Did it actually kill any of the bombers is the big question. No, I don't want you going there. Get the Krakens going. They need to start doing their boring damage. Sadly, I don't think I'm going to get the objective. Try as I might there. But at least they'll survive and get... Maybe it might be able to do something later. Since that one's hit in, since it was only a scanner pulse after all. Now I just gotta be threatening. Strategic area. And I'm doing a bad job controlling these Krakens right now. You have seized a strategic area. In fact, I wonder if my flagship should just go grab points as well. Since Scanner Pulse is about to be up in a moment, that's going to be a little unfortunate for me. Actually, I should have these cruisers ready to go grab this objective, I think is what I want to do. Although... Alright. I don't want them ramming into each other, goddammit, so that's a little infuriating, but... I gotta stop trying to do that there, but... They'll survive, they'll take the hits. And that crew... It'll suffer... Cr it's scanner pulse, so it could burn to death. If I'm lucky enough. Sadly, the drone is dead. And fighters just... Okay, fighters are what revealed me here, okay. So we'll just conceal ourselves. Because that frigate's gone. We could have fun here right now. Actually, where's the beacon going? Just take our time here. Because we can grab this point. Sure, I'm not going to have much of a lead, but... I think... They don't have any more frigates either, so I can play this out. I do need, well, I don't need ex extended sensor range, truth be told, so. And hopefully these guys can just boost on out. Now, can I start getting the troop damage I want? Because you can see what they're doing, they're playing, pot they're playing chicken. It's not very exciting there, but they'll have to see about where I strike, and maybe I can use the, the flagship to grab a point. Of points. And I can launch another spore field to conceal my cruisers too, so maybe that's what I'll actually do. I might... I think I feel bad because I may be abusing the rush as being silent, so my opponent can't quite tell where I'm at. But I haven't heard any more scanner pulses, so at the end of the day, I'm kind of fine with it. Now we just got to actually connect. And even if we don't, maybe the flagship can just grab the points, or we can just steal points from them. If they're just going to run. 
just gotta be very careful of what, what is it? Just randomly revealing my ships, but at least the frigates are kind of safe in that regard. Actually, I should extend range because that at least will make them a little more paranoid. They probably heard that some, but... That'll give them a slight tell of where I might be. You have seized a strategic area. Now... We can conceal these easily enough. That's not what I want, but you can hide easily. You have seized a strategic area. Now just gotta wait for a spore field and then we're golden. And see about trying to grab a fourth point somehow. Because right now, all the, that they're doing is shield damage, so this is not a big scare. Not even taking any critical damage as a bonus. They just had to fly into the cruisers and immediately loot, get the crew killed. Or hell, the entire ship got destroyed. And if I could deny this fighter, that'd be pretty good. Actually, denying the... Damage potential is nice too. And actually, what I might do is just have these get revealed. Or at least have one of them take the beacon for me. If that's at all possible. There. And I think you may have just helped me there some. Hopefully. Sadly, I've been revealed, so that's a little unfortunate in that regard. And now things are kind of messing up a bit. Because the flagship's at risk of getting spotted here. Well, this flagship's already spotted, let's not kid ourselves. But at least we can hide this and get these cruisers going. Because now the beacon's useless. Just gotta make the damage count is the main thing. Can I board this thing? Not quite, but they are running from me. So that's a good start on that front. You have accumulated 25% of strategic points. The enemy has accumulated 50% of strategic points. Now this damage needs to stick. If it's going to matter at all. And I also want to try and neutralize this as well. Actually, once this is neutralized, I can at least grab the point. It's just taking a little bit longer than I like. There, that problem solved. At least a little bit. So let's actually hide this. Didn't get to do near as much boring damage as possible, but... We got four points. That helps alleviate this. We're just not grabbing the point very quickly. There we go. That's solved. I'll regenerate some health. Now... Let's see about launching torpedoes, maybe? Probably a terrible idea, since most of them are going to hit my own ship. Uh, I was hoping maybe I could boost out of the way, but the tail was just too much, or at least too long. And one of my ships just died there, so let's keep that in mind. We are suffering from attrition damage here. Your engines are gone, buddy. I didn't quite grab it that time, but I think we're in good shapes. Oh, actually, I take that back. We are in phenomenal shape right now. We just got to maximize the boring. Everyone get on out. 
Let's kill off the crew of a flagship here. And these things are doing their job well. I just, although I need better use of spore fields, I think. You sadly are not in a good spot, so we're gonna have to fix that. All right. Drifting Hulk there. We're gonna. I would like to kill this thing off, but it's gonna be easier said than done. And what am I being revealed by? All right. I figure as much being revealed by nothing. Now just let the shields take the hits and get ready to just strangle tentacle and kill this thing. You have accumulated fifty percent of strategic points. Now, keep getting these critical hits going. Actually, prioritize the weapons even. That'll be kind of nice too. And now, let's keep in mind this thing might self destruct, because who knows how that might work. And unfortunately, I do not want to ram, so if you could not do that, that'd be kind of nice. And 11 boring, so this is looking really good now. And I hit the wrong button. I think I hit adrenal glands, even though technically I still had to cool down on my rush. So that should be dead, we just gotta get out of fission now for this crack and to really benefit off it. Speaking of which, let's kill off more of this crew, since I'm doing a terrible job of that. Another Drifting Hulk, they could be reactivating ships, so I gotta always keep that in mind too. Actually, let's ram this quickly. And bamboozle. So engines are gone there. We have boring potential available. And sadly that was way too close for my torpedoes. Try as I might. Now like I said, keep these crackers alive. Because they're going to be useful and actually I have a drone too. Actually, conceal these because now we have a drifting Hulk. So, try and finish this off somehow. And be mindful of not doing that, please. Ramming my own ships is not a good idea. The enemy has seized a strategic area. Now, I think those were bad boring torpedoes, I won't lie, but we're still in okay shape here. I just have nothing watching the spoiler. Ooh, we got a full boarding on that, so that crew's gone. This is all she wrote there. It's looking like it, at least, with cold arms even, to add compound on that. Now we just gotta get the flagship and kill the crew. Oh, it's already lost this crew. And I hit the wrong button there, sadly, but the shields could take the hits. And that's a victory. Oh, actually get the Kraken out. Saved. Operation saved the Kraken. Don't let it die. Yeah, shields took those hits amazingly. Oh boy. That is a match. Maybe not the most exciting matches, because everyone wants to run away from me. I can't imagine why they would do that. It's not like I'm their pending doom or anything, right? 
but it played out well. It's just an incredibly long video as a result of that, I gotta say. Still, I'm satisfied. Hey, we abuse the fact that my opponents don't like to use a lot of frigates. It's the moral of this episode, isn't it? Bruce Lee only had a single frigate, which conveniently they got within cruiser range, so just easy boarding dealt with that problem with the amount of fire assaults it got. And we actually dealt with the Krakens pretty well for my Tyranid opponent. And my Space Marine opponent, I would have figured they had enough points for a frigate, but I guess not. 